In the, in the theater, we ask big questions. You know, why are we here? What does all of this mean? And I love that instead of it being an, a philosophical, intellectual debate, it's more of a like showing how crazy and big and strange and <laughs> sexy and dangerous and political the world is in this fable. So it's not a direct reflection of the world. It's, it's a fabulized story, mythic version of it. When you put the play on, you discover an awful lot about it because it, it takes a really good director to sort of discover the nuances and figure out how to make this world work. It, it's so beautifully simple in a lot of ways, but also it, it encompasses a huge amount of like politics, different structure, the structure of the Odyssey, morality plays, Brechtian stuff, Liz Suedos music. I think this world is full of music even when it's not literal music. It changes worlds, it changes feels, it changes emotions, it's very carnival-esque. My name is Gordon Joseph Weiss and I'm playing the character of Luke who is a fallen angel. He's a good, good chunk of dark matter. I'm Sam Soul and I'm playing Angela. She's an angel. She's from the, from the great beyond. <laughs> Johnny is searching. He's, he's searching for the essence of, of life. His biggest struggle is, is trusting himself and his inner voice, his conscience. <laughs> It's mythic, it's political, it's um, sexy and dangerous and innocent. Well, I just don't think there's been anything like it. And I'm, I'm so glad it's so political and so nasty and naughty. And I can't wait to have an audience share that. We don't know where we're at right now, nor do you. And we all, we all think we know it together because we're so addicted to certainty, but Really, we don't know. I can't wait to give that kind of permission to get involved in the story and not, not have your traditional theater going, sit in your seat kind of experience. Like, come along for the ride. It's a really wacky ride. 